ओके हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस करेंट डिवीजन रूल कंसीडर ए सर्किट लाइक दिस दिस इज योर आर वन रेजिस्टेंस आर वन रेजिस्टेंस आर टू एंड रेजिस्टेंस आर थ्री थ्री रेजिस्टेंसेस आर कनेक्टेड पैरल विथ इच अदर एंड this circuit is connected with a battery having the voltage or emf is your e okay from this battery suppose i current has been came out and here at this node a suppose this i current is divided into three branches that is your for this branch i1 for this branch i2 for this branch i3 i has been divided into three branches as i1 i2 and i3 we have to find out the value of i1 i2 i3 okay how it is here you can see as these resistances are parallel with each other so voltage drop across r1 r2 and r3 all are same that means voltage drop voltage drop across voltage drop across resistance r1 will be equal to i r1 voltage drop across r2 will be sorry i1 r1 i2 r2 voltage drop across r3 will be i3 r3 and as these resistances are parallel with, with each other then voltage drop across these across these uh, resistances will be equal to e equal to e equal to e okay that means i1 r1 equal to i2 r2 equal to i3 r3 equal to e and by krichev's current law at node a node a means at node a we can found i current is divided into i1 i2 and i3 so i will be equal to i1 plus i2 plus i3 okay now these two equations we can found the value of i1 i2 and i3 here you can see from this equation we can write that i2 will be equal to i1 r1 by r2 and i3 will be equal to here i1 r1 by r3 here you can see from this i2 will be i1 r1 by r2 i3 will be equal to i1 r1 by r3 now we are going to use this equation that implies your i will be equal to i1 plus instead of i2 we can write i1 r1 by r2 plus instead of i3 we can write i1 r1 by r3 just add it that implies i will be equal to the lcm will be r2 r3 so this will be r2 r3 into i1 plus r1 r3 into i1 plus here r1 is there so it will be r2 r3 into i1 okay sorry here this is your r3 means uh, this will be r1 into r2 okay r1 into r2 right so that implies i will be equal to take i1 common from all these three terms we can found r2 r3 plus r1 r3 plus r1 r2 whole divided by r2 r3 okay that implies i1 will be equal to i into r2 r3 whole divided by just uh, write this 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 these three terms systematically that is your r1 r2 plus this one r2 r3 plus this term will be written as r3 r1 okay so here we found the i1 value will be how much r2 r3 whole divided by r1 r2 r2 r3 plus r3 r1 similarly uh, here you can see one thing that whenever we are going to find out i1 that means current through the r1 then i1 value will be the net current i into except that resistance 
another two resistance is going to be multiplied r2 r3 whole divided by r1 r2 r2 r3 into r3 r1 similarly similarly we can get similarly we can get i2 will be equal to net current into i2 means we have to consider other two branches that means r1 r3 here i1 means we consider r2 r3 i2 means we have to consider r1 and r3 r1 r3 whole divided by these three terms r1 r2 plus r2 r3 plus r3 r1 and i3 also similarly we can get i into considering if we are uh, consider the i3 then we are going to consider r1 r2 r1 r2 whole divided by r1 r2 plus r2 r3 plus r3 r1 okay here we consider three branches likewise if we are going to consider four branches means like this type of circuit then what will the current i1 through r1 i2 through r2 i3 through r3 and i4 through r4 so just uh, before we discussed if three branches will be there then i1 will be how much total current into other two resistances that means we are trying to find out the current through r1 no so other two resistances multiplication that means r2 into r3 r2 into r3 total current into r2 into r3 whole divided by r1 r2 plus r2 r3 plus r3 r1 so here is the addition of multiplication of two resistances different possible arrangements that means uh, the denominator you can write this one like this uh, suppose we are going to consider uh, this is your 1 2 and 3 so here for the denominator 1 into 2 2 into 3 r1 r2 1 into 2 2 into 3 3 into 1 3 into 1 likewise we have to write i1 in this branch okay so i1 through r1 will be how much total current i into except this resistance r1 product of other three resistances that means r2 r3 r4 whole divided by product of three resistances of four different combinations okay so here uh, what product of two resistances of three of three different combinations we found for the three resistances okay so for this case it will be uh, product of three different resistances of four different combinations so how we can get for that you just draw this figure this is your one two three four we have to consider product of three resistances so here it will be r1 r2 r3 this one then r2 r3 r4 plus r2 r3 r4 r3 r4 r1 plus r4 r1 r2 plus r4 r1 r2 so these are the four combinations of three different resistances multiplication of three different resistances 1 2 3 2 3 4 3 4 1 4 1 2 okay likewise i2 will be total current i into except r2 multiplication of r1 r3 r4 r1 r3 r4 whole divided by this term okay likewise i3 and i4 we can get by this method okay so here for this particular case what we found current in one brain one branch current in one branch will be equal to total current into product of other three resistances product of other three resistances except the resistance along which we are trying to find out the current excluding that resistance okay other three resistances product whole divided by whole divided by here this one addition of multiplication of addition of multiplication of three resistances of four different of four different combinations 
by considering by considering four different resistances four different resistances okay so for this case in the denominator we found four terms okay and for this case we found three terms in the denominator okay likewise if we are going to consider a circuit contains five resistances then we can found five terms in the denominator right so here for this case numerator is belongs to multiplication of three resistances and denominator is your four terms but multiplication of three resistances okay and here we have four resistances connections in general suppose we have n resistances suppose in general if we are going to consider in general n resistances then what will be the formula that means connection will be like this this is your r1 r2 r3 up to suppose rn resistances connected parallel with each other connected with a voltage or emf we have to find out current in a particular branch i1 or i2 or in so in general for this case if we are going to consider in general case then what we can write in general current in one branch will be equal to in general current in one branch will be equal to total current whole into here you can see four resistances product of three resistances so for this case product of n minus one resistances product of n minus one resistances whole divided by addition of multiplication of three resistances of four different combinations by considering four different resistances for this case three resistance here three resistances so here it will be n minus one resistances four different combinations here we have to write n different combinations by considering n different resistances okay that means addition of multiplication of n minus one resistances of n different combinations by considering four different resistances sorry by considering n different resistances by n different resistances okay now we are going to apply this general formula for our simple circuit which contains only two resistances okay so here this is the simple circuit having two different resistances connected parallel with each other suppose through r1 i1 through r2 i2 currents are flowing we have to find out i1 and i2 now we are going to use this general uh, formula or expression i1 will be equal to total current your total current is your i into product of n minus 1 resistances and here i not written product of n minus 1 resistances except the resistance considered along which current has to be find out okay so for this case we are trying to find out the current along r1 current through r1 or i1 we want to find out so r1 we are going to ignore and here product of n minus 1 resistances here two total resistances are two so two minus one means one resistance we are going to consider so except r1 bacha kya r2 whole divided by addition of multiplication of n minus 1 resistances of n different combinations so here n different combinations means yahan pe do hi term aayega denominator mein do hi term aayega magar addition of multiplication of n minus 1 resistances so for this case kitna resistance hoga n minus 1 means one hi resistance hoga aur do hi term hoga that means it will be r1 plus r2 likewise i2 will be total current into r1 divided by r1 plus r2 okay Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you.